For question eight, I'm going to split it in half and I'll do the calculation second. So question eight is based on transition metals and you're given lots and lots of information to process. I'll go through that in the second half. So the first part, part A, electronic configurations of nickel as the element and in its plus two oxidation state. So nickel, the element has 28 electrons. And so that would finish off 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d8. The examiner won't mind which way around you write the 4s and the 3d. For the plus two oxidation state, it's obviously losing two electrons to get that plus two charge. And so the thing to remember here is it's the 4s electrons that are lost before 3d. So we'll lose two, those two electrons and we're left with that electronic configuration. The diagram refers to the calculation, so I'll skip that. So there's the structure of NIDMG twice. State and explain the role of ammonia in step two. So we'll go back to the equation for step two. There it is there. Look at the ammonia. Look at what happened to it. It's gained a proton or accepted a proton. So it's acting as a base. And where's it getting that proton from? There it is there on the DMGH. The coordination number, well, that's the number of date of covalent bonds around the central transition metal ion or the number of coordinate bonds. And you can see from the diagram, one, two, three, four. Why does NIDMG twice, why does it have no overall charge? Well, nickel we know is plus two. So each DMG must be one minus and therefore the charges cancel. And the final part of this question, this part of the question anyway, is draw the structure of DMGH. So we go back to the diagram there. This is NIDMG twice. So if I just use the cursor there to sort of cut this, so DMG will be, we'll cut it at that dotted line around there and we'll cut it at that dotted line there. So we would have an O minus there in DMG. That's where that negative charge comes from. So DMGH must have a, an H plus with that OH minus. And so it looks like this.